Okay, in this video we're going to go over the process of inscribing a square inside of a circle. Alright, so the first thing we're going to need here is a diameter drawn in our circle. So we can do any diameter really that's going to connect two points of the circle going through our center there. Okay, so we have a diameter drawn and the next step after drawing the diameter is to perpendicular bisect through that line segment that we draw, drew. Right, so this line segment has connected to two points on the circumference of the circle, and now we're going to draw a perpendicular bisector through this line segment or the diameter that we just drew. So in order to do that, uh, all we're going to need is our compass and a straight edge. So we can use our compass Again, following the process for constructing a perpendicular bisector, we can open our compass up to a width that's, again, more than half of the uh, width of the diameter or the length of the diameter. And we're going to draw one arc above and one arc on the other side. We're going to do the same thing from the opposite point, the opposite end of the line segment, right? So we're going to draw one arc on one side, one arc on the other. Again, keeping our compass the same width when we did each of these uh, arcs, right? We came from the top, did our two arcs, one on each side. Keeping the compass the same width, did one arc on each side. And now we have two sets of intersecting lines. So from there, all we have to do is connect our intersection points. And you can tell if you did this right, because it should go through the center of the circle. All right, kind of hopped a little bit there, right? So roughly a little bit of error uh, from the compass, right? We've gone through the center of the circle here and I'm gonna extend that out to the circumference. So now I have two sets of diameters or two diameters in our circle, right? So we have points on the circumference of the circle. Maybe you can see where we're going here. We have four points on the circumference of the circle. So from here, all we have to do is connect those points. So in order to construct our square, we're going to connect all of these intersection points from the diameters that we drew. All right, so we can connect two points here. We can connect two points here. We can connect two points here. And finally, we can connect these last two points here. All right, so you'll see what we've done here is created a square by two diameters that have been perpendicular bisectors of each other, right? So we know that because this is a perpendicular bisector, we know all these angles in here are 90 degrees. So that's telling us that the sides of our square are eventually going to be congruent, right? We could go through some proofs here as to why this works, but that's safe for another time, really. Uh, so we have here, again, the process is first to draw a diameter. And the next step is to draw a perpendicular bisector through that diameter. So our first diameter was the vertical one. We drew a perpendicular bisector using the process for that. If you're uh, forgetting that, go back to watch the perpendicular bisector video. Uh, we're going to draw the perpendicular bisector, and now we have two diameters that bisect each other at a perpendicular angle. And if we connect all the four points that we made from those diameters on the circle, that's going to give us this square here. That's all it, uh, it takes to do this. So thanks for watching this video on inscribing a square in a circle, and I'll see you in the next one.